King Charles is reportedly not able to forgive his youngest son, Prince Harry for harshly criticizing his wife, Queen Camilla, in his bombshell memoir, Spare. While the Duke of Sussex has reportedly been attempting to have peace talks with the firm, his pleas have not been listened to. Prince Harry stepped down from working as a senior royal in 2020 and released his tell-all book on January 10, 2023, after eventually settling in Montecito, California with his wife Meghan Markle and two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Christopher Anderson, author of The King, told Fox News, I think people have to realize that the one thing that Charles finds unforgivable is criticism of Camilla. The author explained Harry said some pretty devastating things about his father's wife, painting her as the villain and describing Harry as on his own. He added, I think that still bothers the king, and I don't know that it will be easy for him to forgive. I don't think they'll ever forgive Harry for that. The last time Prince Harry visited his father was when he rushed to the UK for a 25-hour visit in February after the king publicly declared he had an undisclosed type of cancer. Prior to that, Harry and Meghan detailed their rocky relationship with the royal family in an Oprah interview and their Netflix documentary titled Harry Meghan. He also accused members of his family of getting into bed with the devil to gain good tabloid coverage, singling out the Queen's efforts to rehabilitate her image with the public after her affair with his father. The allegations about Camilla come as Prince Harry says he was affected by her role in the breakdown of Charles's marriage to Princess Diana, Harry's mother. While many members of the public initially shunned Camilla, she has won fans by taking on a wide range of engagements and charity activities. Speaking of Camilla becoming queen, Christopher told Fox News, the king pressured the queen for so long, and in so many ways, to accept Camilla. We have to remember, he promised he would never make Camilla queen. And I think that's one thing that still bothers both Harry and William. Queen Camilla tied the knot to the now King Charles in Windsor in April 2005, a special occasion that made her his second wife. Charles and Camilla married in a civil ceremony rather than in a Church of England service, making Charles the first royal to marry in a civil ceremony in England. After the 2005 ceremony, Camilla became known as Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall, a title she would keep until the King's coronation ceremony, which saw her become Queen Camilla. However, Omid Scobie, in his bombshell book Endgame, called Camilla an anchor for King Charles, which forced his sons into accepting her. He wrote, Though it took some years, Harry and William eventually accepted Camilla or what she was and still is, an anchor for their father, an unflinching, steady support system for which he could not do without.